It was largely ignored by the Trump administration. But the African continent is once again garnering the interest of the United States. Secretary of State Antony Blinken kicked off a three-nation tour on Wednesday, the Biden government's first high-level visit to the continent. Blinken begins his tour in Kenya, one of the US's oldest African allies, and a key actor attempting to ease the war in Ethiopia, where the US hopes to resolve deepening tensions. Uh, the people who suffer are the people, uh, and we have to make sure that uh, they are getting the assistance they need uh, and uh, that uh, the fighting ceases and the, the talking starts. Aside from the Tigray conflict in Ethiopia, the military coup in Sudan and tensions in Somalia are high on the agenda. Following Trump's failure to engage with Africa and amid China's growing influence, Blinken's trip also aims to raise Washington's profile anew on the continent. Uh, there are important signposts to erect so that the whole world knows that the U.S. is indeed back is indeed back and interested in the advancement of our continent. On Wednesday, Blinken also stated the importance of fighting what he labelled democratic recessions worldwide. Independent institutions uh, challenged and uh, undermined. Uh, journalists, human rights activists uh, threatened and attacked. Uh, even vibrant democracies like Kenya uh, experiencing these pressures. A week from COP26, climate change will also be on the table as five of the ten hardest-hit countries are in Africa. Blinken's next stop will be Nigeria and then Senegal.